good morning can you believe i am starting this vlog in the middle of october in sunshine what is going on <laughs> i'm just moving back a bit so you can actually see me properly my family are going to be here pretty much any second now so i don't know how long i've got we are about to go for a really cozy sunday roast at a pub which is really close to us which is supposed to be so lovely we haven't tried it yet and unbelievably the weather this weekend is just amazing like i can't believe how warm and sunny it is i haven't gone like full summer <laughs> but i have popped a pretty white blouse on which should keep me relatively cool and not too um not too warm and thank you so much for your birthday messages and your comments on last week's video wishing me a happy birthday i did have a wonderful time despite the fact i was working <laughs> for the majority of it and i was so tired when i got back yesterday i got back at about 3 p.m i literally just went to sleep just needed a nap it was essential i was so tired i'm also i don't know if you can hear it in my voice but i'm also just about recovering from a really horrible cold as well. I feel like a lot of people are ill at this time of year, but this year especially, everyone I know has either been ill or getting ill or feels very ill <laughs> with just colds and things. So yeah, I'm on the back end of one. I'm feeling a lot better, but I still have that like horrible nasally sound in my voice so sorry if i do sound quite nasally i will catch up with you once we head out for our delicious hopefully delicious roast dinner some very yummy looking treats to have this afternoon and I thought I would show you now before they get absolutely torn into. So we have a homemade chocolate orange cheesecake which I cannot wait for and then James has also made these millionaire shortbreads but with a twist because they are Biscoff flavour. I cannot wait to try these. Oh my gosh, I feel very lucky. since I last spoke with you. It has been really busy. We had the yummiest roast. I think I took a clip of it. The Yorkshire pudding was like the size of my head. It was absolutely delicious. And yeah, we just chilled out in the afternoon. It's Wednesday at the moment. I do have a day off today, which I am very pleased about. And there's a few bits I wanna get done. Firstly, I desperately need a cup of tea because I feel very lost without one. It is 10 minutes to 10 and I haven't had my cup of tea yet. So that is a definite must and I will do that in just a moment. I also have a nail appointment today, which is very overdue. I can't wait to get my summer nails gone finally and my autumn nails on. I obviously had these done for my holiday and they matched my swimwear perfectly and I have no regrets, but it is officially time for the autumn colours to come out. I don't think I'm going to go for a red. I think it's going to be either a neutral or like a brown colour. I've never gone very dark with my autumn nails, but I am kind of in the mood to go for like a nice dark brown. I just feel like I need to do it. I need to really manifest autumn this year because the weather is not playing ball. The other thing I was thinking we might do today, which I haven't done in way too long, like I, I can't believe I haven't done this for ages, but I was thinking we could head out just down the road and do a bit of a shop with me in some of my favourite bargain shops. So the range, b and I thought we could just go and have a bit of a mooch around and explore what they've got in there. Now I'm fully prepared for pretty much all of the autumn stuff to have gone and the festive Christmas stuff to be out because we all know how far ahead these shops like to plan. I know there will be some nice new cleaning products, some festive themed cleaning products out there. I haven't wandered around B&M for quite some time. Like I think it's been a good couple of months since I've been in there. I don't know what I've been doing. 
not being in B&M apparently. So it will be a nice chilled day, we'll see what's in the shops, we'll have a bit of self care and most importantly I'm going to make a much needed cup of tea. look today which I am very proud of. It is so nice to have this back on. I have been waiting for the weather to cool down and it finally almost has. It's a very cloudy grey day today so the lighting is not great but I'm ready to go. I need my bag which has got all the essentials in and you can't see but I have popped on some of my H&M boots from last year, which fit really nicely under these jeans, actually. I'll try and show you. They match really nicely with these jeans. They only come up to about here, but the jeans with kind of the distressed hem look really lovely covering the top of the boots. So we are officially in our neutral outfit, ready to go for a little hunt in B&M and the range. So I completely forgot that I have a TK Maxx near my house as well. It seemed to just disappear out my brain. Now it can be a bit hit and miss. So I am gonna pop in because the last time I went in, I found the most gorgeous cushion and throw. So you never know, you never know what you're gonna find. And of course, I had to have a chai latte for the journey. I say journey, the journey was like, three minutes but you can never go wrong with a chai latte right it is officially chai latte season so i have very much enjoyed this i'm gonna pop in now and see what i can find Instagram and it looked amazing so I think I'm gonna give this one a go. It's a floral seasonal scents. I bet they smell amazing. This one is screaming out to me. I haven't tried cranberry and orange. I think when I finish my winter morning this is gonna be the next one that I give a go. I am on the lookout for the pumpkin scrub daddy because it looks the most adorable thing ever but in the meantime I'm just gonna grab one just in case I can't find it. aisle oh my gosh they have some really nice mugs and i love those star placemats as well i might get some of those this year six pounds for two though so it would cost me about 18 pounds oh my gosh look at this christmas tree plate i'm loving their stuff this year neutral Christmas is calling to me. This is the kind of theme that I'm thinking for one of my trees this year. So a combination of like champagne gold 
and green. I think it looks so nice. So this is definitely giving me some good inspiration. I might have to come here for my baubles. There is so much Christmas stuff in B&M. I am literally in love. I'm gonna have to come here and do like a full Christmas haul because this is amazing. my gosh so i have obviously spent the last few weeks hibernating because it's officially christmas in retail like what on earth is going on <laughs> there was a lot i could have bought i could have gone absolutely crazy i'm gonna be honest i actually think i'm gonna have to do like a separate b m slash the range slash home bargains dedicated haul video for christmas because Oh my gosh, B&M are absolutely giving when it comes to Christmas decor. And there was so much stuff in the range as well that I could have bought. I did pick up one thing from the range, which was Christmas related because I have the perfect place for it. And I know that it's probably gonna sell out and then just never come back. And we are home. I have a few things to show you. I didn't pick up too much. I managed to control myself. Let's go into TK Maxx. So I picked up one thing from TK Maxx. You will have seen, I think I took a clip of one of the scarves that I saw in there, but they had some really nice like scarves and gloves and winter accessories. Definitely worth having a look in there. They had some seriously good prices for some of it as well. One of the scarves that I picked up, if I can unfold it in the right way, was a Ralph Lauren. Is it Ralph Lauren? Ralph Lauren, I never really know how to pronounce it. Ralph Lauren scarf with the very well-known logo on and I think a, another logo on there. Obviously you cut the tag off, but it is super, super cozy and it is the most beautiful off-white cream color. I'm pretty sure I checked on the label. Yeah, it's 100% wool. So it's a really nice breathable but warm fabric. It will be a really nice light color to wear with my camel coats that I've got and my darker color coats. So yeah, it's a really lovely length. It's not too long. It's a nice simple scarf with just a simple logo detail on and the tassels at the bottom so i thought this was a nice find and it was 29.99 which i didn't think was too bad i don't know what the recommended retail price was sometimes they put that on the label but i still think that was a good price and i would have paid it for a 100 wool scarf anyway moving on to b m the first thing i picked up which you would have seen a clip of was the new bicarbonate of soda flash spray i've seen a few people trying this and it seems to do the trick especially on sinks and kind of chromey looking surfaces like that so i definitely want to give this a go i think it will bring things up really shiny i think it was two pounds 49 so it's not the cheapest surface cleanser out there you can get some nice kind of astonished ones for a pound but I'm intrigued with the bicarb of soda. So we will give it a go. Maybe I'll do a cleaning video soon and I will feed back and let you know how I get on with this. Okay, a couple of Christmas themed things. It's not too extreme with Christmas, but it's, it's kind of dipping into that Christmas theme. So the first thing I got was this adorable minky cloth, which has the sweetest, if I pull it out the cardboard, it has the sweetest little colorful Christmas tree print. So it's not extreme Christmas, but it's, I thought it was really sweet and I love the colors of it. And then the final thing I got from B&M was this really sweet Christmas tree serving dish. Now it's hard to show in the camera, but it does have a slight 
green tint to it. I don't know if you can see the underside of it here. It's really tricky to show you. But when they were stacked up in the shop all on top of each other, they looked really green. So I thought this would be lovely for if I make any cookies, if I serve up some sort of Christmas treat on the table when we have anyone round, or even just to pop onto the coffee table to just put some biscuits on. I thought it would be really nice. And as you can see by the well placed sticker, it was five pounds, which I didn't think was too bad. Finally, I went into the range. Now, as I think I said in the car, I need to go and do like a dedicated festive haul video. I cannot believe how many amazing things they had. So I only got the one thing and I knew that it was going to sell out. So I just had to pick it up. And it is this, <laughs> it's got a bit of weight to it. It is this ginormous green and gold Christmas tree ornament. I love this. I think this will look amazing in the snug. I really like the wood effect base that it's got to it. I think it's got a really nice kind of rustic look and it reminds me of the Made in India TK Maxx slash HomeSense range that they've always got in there. It's got a nice kind of muted gold star on the top and it's got gold glitter across the whole of the tree, which I did get all over my hand. So the lady at the till gave me a bit of um, kitchen roll to carry it out to my car um, to stop me from covering myself in gold glitter. But this was, I think, $8.99. I will double check. If I've got it wrong, then I'll put the price on the screen. But I thought $8.99 was a good price. And it's big enough as well that you could actually put this on the floor next to a side table, next to a trunk. So I think I'm going to put it on the floor next to the trunk in our snug room. But yeah, I thought it was a good price. And I know that this will sell out. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's such a nice shade of green without being too bright it's a nice sort of muted color so if you want to stick to more of a farmhouse rustic country theme in your house for christmas and you still want to have green and wood tones then i think this is a really nice idea that was everything i picked up it was just a small haul but as i said a much bigger one is going to be needed now i'm going to grab myself some lunch and then i do have something really exciting to show you in our bedroom upstairs we had a delivery this week and it was very kindly sent to me as a pr gift and honestly to be fair I did go back to them and say I would love to see this as a sample and then they ended up sending me the whole thing anyway but I have no regrets because it is gorgeous and I honestly would have bought it anyway if I had seen it somewhere. So I will grab some lunch and then I will take you upstairs, upstairs, upstairs and I will show you what we've got in our master bedroom. I have been so excited to show you this. Here is... <gasps> The bedroom rug of dreams. Oh my goodness. So this is officially the biggest rug I have ever had in my life. So this is from a brand called Cocoon Rugs, which is K-U-K-O-O-N. It's got a really grippy underside, which is super handy. And it's actually made out of, I think, quite heavily recycled materials. And it's the kind of material regardless of what size you get, whereby if you were to spill like red wine on it or some sort of liquid on it, then it would just run off rather than absorbing into the material and staining. But just look at this pattern. I am completely and utterly in love with it. So it, <laughs> it did, I will say, it did cause a few uh, stressful conversations trying to get this under the bed between James and I, which was at like 9pm at night as well because we had the, the rug like over the whole bed so we had to put it somewhere i've made it symmetrical across both sides so it goes all the way along here and then you've got it all up this side as well look at my teddy <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I am so, so, so happy with it. I think it could not be more perfect. And you can get one size bigger, but I did not dare. <laughs> I thought this would be the best size. And I'm really pleased that this is the size I went for. So I will leave all of the information about the rug that I got, the size that I got, the color that I got down in the description box down below in case any of you wanted to have a look. They vary from like really small sizes to even bigger 
bigger sizes than this and I think they are quite reasonably priced as well so yeah I've been very excited to show you guys this I haven't even put it on my Instagram yet when I'm recording this and it might not even be on my Instagram yet still when this video goes up so you are getting the sneak preview into possibly my favorite thing now about this bedroom the nails are done i'm trying to show you in the best light possible because it's the kind of color that looks three different colors depending on the light that you're looking at so this is the best light i can show you they are the most beautiful deep shade of brown and i just think the color of autumn like how perfect is this it goes with the outfit as well see it looks a lot lighter now when i kind of move back and put it against my outfit it goes a much lighter shade of brown this is my new favorite autumn color like how perfect is this i feel like i haven't shown you this room for quite a while but the reason being is that most of it is still empty <laughs> so i think i kind of talked through the plans in here with you guys but i've decided to keep this layout exactly how it is because i was trialing and testing a few different ways and this seems to be a really nice layout to have so you've obviously got the view of the garden from out here which is looking nice and healthy i've been deadheading my <laughs> dahlias so i need to pop those into the green bin but i really like this layout i'm definitely set on having a media unit here so i'm in talks at the moment with a couple of companies and a couple of carpenters to see what they can do but my plan is to have basically a three meter long unit so the wall in total is five meters so it would come to about here all the way to roughly about here and I want to have obviously the TV as the focal point with some cabinets along the bottom and some shelving going all the way around the TV. And I want it to be basically floor to ceiling, which should be nice and easy because we've got no coving on the ceiling and we can basically just cut the skirting board and cut the carpet so that it's completely flush against the wall. My plan is basically to make it a really nice olive green color, similar to the snug, but potentially a bit darker. So I'm thinking like a farrow and ball kind of uh, treron, I think the color is. Hopefully in the next few months, we will have made a decision and we will be in the process of getting that built. I'm really excited. Um, and I just think it will bring the room together so much. Obviously we need to get a bigger coffee table and I wanna have a coffee table to match a big sideboard along here. I've seen a really nice one from the Cotswold company i'll pop a picture of it on the screen but it's a beautiful kind of whitewashed oak and i think it would match all of the green tones in here really nicely obviously the curtains will need to be changed um, this will be the christmas tree corner but for the remainder of the year i have no idea what i'm gonna put there yeah i thought i would just give you an update because i haven't spoken about the room very much there's some very like random odds and ends just popped down here basically which don't really have a home the table that i originally had in the snug is hidden down here for those of you that might remember but it's just a bit of a it's just a bit of a random room right now it's just a bit of an in progress room i can't even believe how dark it is right now it is 6 p.m and I've had to put the lights on to be able to see. I am just waiting for James to get out of the shower and then it will be time for us to head out for dinner. Sorry if you can hear him showering. He's actually on a whole different floor, but I can guarantee he's got the door wide open. <laughs> I mean, why would you not if you're in your own house, right? Who even closes doors these days? We are trying out a newly opened i believe greek restaurant which is about half an hour away and yeah i think it's only recently opened or maybe a few months ago it opened but i've heard some good things and the menu looks really nice and i've never well i have been to greece once but i think i was about two years old so that doesn't really count so technically i've never been to greece i've never really eaten greek food i don't even fully really know what greek food is but I'm very interested to try it and I'm looking forward to seeing my family. I will take a few clips if I can, but otherwise I thought I would just wrap up the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed chatting through what I've bought, doing a bit of a shop with me. I will finish off the video with some dinner clips and otherwise I will see you next week. Goodbye. <music>